Okay guys, I am trying to kind of like put my skincare over here. As you can see, first to go is what I'm currently using. And then, um, yeah, and this is way too small, honestly, for my skincare. Um, I feel like everything in this house is tiny, and I'm just like, are they making this for, like, kids? Like, this thing is so low, and I don't understand why. I would love to, like, understand. space here and then you go in to go for this size cabinet when you could literally have a cabinet that starts from here to here um i honestly want to just buy a new one and reinstall it i could have my uncle do it actually but um but it's okay though what i'm gonna do is well, i always do that i always have like a shelf over my toilet anyways so i'm thinking about doing that again or instead of having it over the toilet this time like you do know, the regular shelf i was thinking maybe just do the one that goes on top so that way over here can just be empty other than that the bathroom is great oh this is what i came to show you i always struggle putting this together because i never understand the instructions um i never understand it it's just like it doesn't matter how clear it is in english again english is not my first language and i hate instructions can never follow instructions so I finally managed to like get it together I don't even know if it's like stable to be quite honest but I love these I always have I always buy um, I always buy these when I move so this is going to be my for my makeup remover this is face this is going to be body I'm gonna remove this because I don't really use bar soap and then the top one is always hair so all my shampoos are going to go up top. I'm going to bring the one up top down a little bit. Um, because, I mean, I don't really wash my hair often. But I do plan on washing my hair a little bit often now. I don't know. I'm trying to become like a homebody and actually like taking care of myself. And then this is not the time for this apartment to just be giving me this, you know. So, and then always, always have exfoliating gloves. I cannot live without exfoliating gloves. And I'm just like, when people take showers without using a rag, which I used last night. And I've been making this, like, DIY um, scrubs for my body. It's so good. So, it's olive oil, um, baking soda, sugar, and then soap, uh, body wash my goodness it's so good it makes your skin feel so luxe but i just quickly wanted to show you guys that i did this my goodness it took forever almost cried um last time i didn't have to do it i'd had him do it for me but then again this time around i don't know i don't want people in my business so i haven't really like told anyone really that i moved um so yeah i'm gonna keep this to myself <laughs> And yeah, that's a little update for you guys. I need to shower now. I'm just waiting for them to call me or to kind of like come over to fix this. That's why I haven't showered. But I'm at the point where I'm just like, I need to shower, put some makeup on and look like a human being. But it's still a mess over here as usual. Um, the thing that I could do that would help me is to actually put the hangers. Um, I'm going to hang some clothes. I am going to um, remove the stuff that's for my suitcases, hung them a little bit. Not the new stuff. The new stuff has to kind of like stay in this. That's the only problem. When I have new stuff, they have to be out. Because if I put them away, I forget about them. And this is my skims, by the way, that I was wearing yesterday. It's not my underwear. So I've got clothes all over the place that I'm actually going to put in the closet. And then I need to go to Macy's to get the Nespresso machine and all that jazz but other than that yeah other than that i really love the place to be quite honest it's just management is just so trash that's the only problem with this place really if management was just good this place would be amazing and of course i've got my always pin my favorite i love that i have the same color and you know we are uniform and the on the only other problem with this place it doesn't have somewhere to put my utensils and i just find that to be ghetto like 
how do you not have a place to put utensils so i don't know yet if you guys can send me some ideas of what i should do for my utensils because i'm not gonna put them on the counter my juicer is gonna go on this side and then my nespresso machine is gonna go on this side so um and then i need a little bit of like you know some flour over here in the kitchen i'm gonna have some fake flowers so that's the plan but yeah guys please give me some ideas of where i could put my utensils because as you can see this is the only space i have underneath here and then i was thinking about putting the garbage can over here whatever furniture i am getting i want to be able to transport that furniture to my new place so that's what i'm thinking about now i just want to make sure i kind of like take my time with the furniture that i'm getting because i want to make sure it's something that i can take to my new place because the way things are going with this management i don't think i'll be here for another year honestly i doubt that i may not even be here in a few months because um the way it's going i'm gonna have to get out of this lease because i can't deal with all this nonsense like i just can't hello guys good afternoon it's about to be 3 p.m i can't believe i haven't done anything all day because i've just been doing the waiting game waiting for these people to get here um the super finally came met him he's gonna try to like fix all the problems for me so we'll see how it goes um i'll keep you guys updated but sometimes you just have to be annoying you know to get things done i just don't play with things like that to be quite honest like again because i'm so used to like living in nice buildings where you know everything gets done okay that's him coming back um where i don't have to like worry about things so it's just like i just don't have the patience so and especially for the amount of money that i'm paying for this neighborhood like this should just be like top tier i shouldn't even have to deal with issues problems like this i'm ready i'm still in my robe i'm about to get ready my brother's outside she's up uh, he's actually bringing me the rest of my stuff which i'm sad because the elevator is not working i am trying out nars um the sheer glow foundation which i've had for a while but i just left it in the state when i moved to mexico and now i'm just like because my skin is so incredibly dry i'm wearing shade caracas but i need to kind of like mix it with something a little bit darker so this is a sheer glow foundation i didn't shake it i just popped it on but i did mix it with what did i mix it with i did mix it with that concealer i did a collaboration with anastasia for this concealer this concealer is magic just like name magic touch my goodness this you can use both as a foundation and concealer like if you're traveling and carrying like a tiny bag with you you could just bring this and you will be good like you don't even need you know the thing is i need to get one that's lighter because this one is like my color shade i can actually wear it on its own but it would be nice to just have like i'm gonna get like a different shade this is 18 i'm gonna get a lighter color so i can mix it and then the guy what was his name again i forgot um he gave me the noise radiance primer again because my skin is incredibly dry i need something that's a little bit radiant and this one my goodness i really really love it typically i use my Laura mercier this is my favorite primer out there this stuff is amazing the pure canvas primer is so great um but i do find when i mix it with my soft matte foundation is way too matte like my skin is just like screaming really really dry so i do find that i prefer when i mix it with soft matte i think that would be like a better mix because look at this guys look at this glow and then i'm doing a gloss today because i've been into the gloss lately because i'm just loving a glossy lip it's just so girly so fun so feminine so super is about to be here to fix things around and now i have to one put some clothes on and go help my brother all right guys ignore the sound of my dishwashing happening in the background did not mean to the guy was fixing it and then he pressed the button by accident so there was no soap in this and i only had like two things in there so <laughs> i wish i would have just loaded the dishwasher you know all my plates would have been washed but it's okay guess what i have internet oh my goodness um i just feel like these things are so much better these days i feel like back in the days it used to like take a couple of days for you to just like get an appointment i remember it i'm so happy i'm about to upload some footage and then um i'm headed to macy's now i'm gonna take the train and then on the way back i'll take an uber because right now it's rush hour 
and I know traffic is probably not going to be cute. So let's actually see. Yep, traffic 38 minutes to get there. It's like there's no reason for that. So I'm just gonna go and grab that. And also I need to figure out, I think I know the couch that I'm getting. And then I feel like once I have one thing in here, it's just going to like trickles down to like everything else. But it's just a matter of getting that one thing. So I'm gonna place my Amazon order. And then I'll catch you guys when I get to Macy's. Maybe I'll take you along with me. Who knows? All right guys, we made it out. And it's freezing out and I'm just like, I got out, I'm walking to the train and I'm just like, why did I do that to myself? Um, I should have just stayed home, but then again, the home is not that comfy anyways because I literally have nothing in there. I'm just trying to debate if I need anything from Tarje, I mean not Tarje, um, Sephora um, before I go into Macy's because I feel like whatever I get in here, it's going to be so heavy and I need to. Um, so I'm here for the coffee machine. And then perhaps I'll go to H&M home and get some stuff there. But then again, I can't carry a lot of stuff. But I'm gonna Uber. <laughs> but I'm gonna Uber home from here. <laughs> so I'm good. Oh, I'm gonna stop at Chanel to see. Chanel. So I can get that. Do I need that nail polish? I actually don't. Let me step away. Well, I needed the the cotton pads but I have the Sashado ones so I don't need anything from MAC actually I don't really need anything else well I do need body wash because I'm wanting out I could probably get some from Kiehl's I mean like Kiehl's body washes they're really good and no, over here hi actually I should go on the side. Oh, this is cute for Valentine's Day. I've got a bunch of hearts. And back. I'm gonna be unboxing with you something that I get from Tiffany makeup, Tiffany and Co. But I wanted to do like a TikTok unboxing it because I have this kind of like voiceover from Tiffany, um, I mean from Hedge Hopper and saying, Tiffany, just like Tiffany's. Um, so I want to do that. And then I am going to be putting my coffee in this plastic thingy that I bought. It looks glass. I got this. This was from my last apartment. That my One of my favorite coffees. This is a Puerto Rico. And then, oh shoot. Oh, okay. I thought they were like sweating or something. So let me show you what I actually got from Macy's. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put my coffees in here. Like so, they don't have, and then this is going to go on the counter next to the machine. I actually need to kind of like clear out my makeup that's on the countertop and I have to wipe it down before I actually put my coffee there. So let's kind of like do that together. But let me actually show you what I got first. Um, of course, I did get another Puerto Rico because I know it's only 10 and I tend to drink a lot of coffee. Do I drink a lot of coffee? Not actually anymore. I only drink like a cup a day these days. I used to drink more. When I used to be at work, I used to drink like two cups in the morning. And then one in the afternoon. Now kind of like reduce. I didn't realize the Puerto Rico was twenty dollars a pop. Also got this little steamer because I need. I have this big bottle of wine. They sent me this brand completely. Oh my goodness! They made my day. Like I said, I think I've told you guys before. I'm not supposed to be doing heavy anything, but I got this little steamer from Macy's. I was gonna buy one from Amazon. Turns out this didn't cost me anything. I ended up paying zero dollars for this because I had I used all my Macy's coupons plus I had ten dollars so I ended up paying nothing for this at all and this was super cheap it was like twenty dollars so I thought you know what let me just get this and then I'll just get like an expensive one I see Jackie Aina is using one 
from Conair. It's like 80 bucks. So I think I'm gonna get that one for my like house one. And then this one could be for my um, like travels and things like that. It comes with a little, not bucket, I don't know. But this is just like so cute. Like I said, guys, this year I want to be a little bit more, I want to embrace all the things that, that I kind of don't like, like the color pink. You know, I don't like the color pink and everything. You could do that. It depends on what you're steaming. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm buying a lot of things with pink in there. But this is like the cutest little steamer. I will, um, I will like it if you guys are interested. I typically throw boxes away, but I'm gonna keep it just in case if it breaks down, so I can return it. You know, within the 30 days. But I'm the type of person and I, I used to keep all my boxes for like a year. <laughs> before I throw them out, but now I started throwing them out straight after because I just hate the clutter. But I actually need to see my shower curtain, so um, I'm just gonna put this in the shower real quick. And then, and then I got towels, my favorite ones are from none other than Ralph Lauren. Um, so I always get the Ralph Lauren ones. So this are gonna go in the bin to be washed first because you should always wash your stuff before you wear them except for this this i'm gonna pop out right now this is like a hand towel like that's that's fine this is not for my body like it doesn't matter but these were like 60 percent off so i ended up paying like ten dollars for them so yeah, so this is gonna go in the washing pile. And then we got, ta-da, the Nespresso. So this is not the one that I wanted. I wanted the one that you just top and then boom, it kind of like open this one. But this one is actually the more durable one. The other ones, they can break a little bit easy. And also it doesn't make um, like the 18 ounce size coffee. This one does. So I wanted to go for, this is a rose gold, so I ended up going for there because they didn't have the other ones at the store. And honestly, I did not want to wait. I wanted to just like buy it there and then. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to clear out this. I'm going to move my makeup to the bedroom. And then I will come back and we can open the, um, we can open the Nespresso machine together. Okay. And then, oh, I want to make some tea, but I do not have a tea kettle so that is something i need to order and then i may have to like i think i'm gonna pop my robe on because i can't put um because of my shoulder like even wearing a bra on that side like hurts so bad so i have to fix that one that i got guys i got the one with the fluffer this was like 229 dollars um yeah and i think this is my third is that my third machine? Yeah, this is my third Nespresso machine. I bought one. Didn't really have, like the coffee. And then I ended up gift gifting it to my cousin. And then I got gifted another one. And then before I moved, the second one I actually enjoyed. I didn't enjoy the I didn't like the first one. Um so this is a virtual. Yeah, this is a virtual next in Iowa, Chino. It actually makes me want to like drink a coffee right now, but we can't do that. I need to find my magnesium to put in some water. Let me see, where did I put my magnesium? I have to find it, it's probably on one of the pots somewhere. So this is all the paperwork. And I went with the rose gold, not because it's the one that I wanted. And then it comes with like the capsules. They give you like a variety, 11 capsules. You get like a taste of like everything. Um, and then here comes the big boy. Oh, you wanna play with the big boys? Look at this here. The flopper is honestly my favorite thing from Nespresso. My goodness, I am obsessed with this thing. I just cannot live without it. Um, I think it's because like, you know, even when I make other things, I can actually warm up my milk. So I think that's 
probably why I love the Farfur. Like when I make my matcha latte, you know, I've had to kind of like warm up my milk on the stove in the past. Now, I have to do that. Uh, my last one has the Farfur as well. Not my first one. Did my first one have a Farfur? My first one didn't have a Farfur. It was the basic one. But my second one had the Farfur and then I was obsessed or maybe my first one had the proffer and then i just kept it and just use it with the second one i don't remember but i just know the proffer is one of my favorite things i feel like nespresso should actually sell this on its own um they would make so much more money here is the baby the reason why i wanted the other one it's um you could actually move it because the one thing that i hate about this machine it takes you see, it takes so much space. Like when in reality, all they had to do was have the thing where you can actually sw um, switch it to the side. So that way it doesn't take so much space. I'm gonna do this. I think I'm actually going to move it here. And then what I will do is, is put some books to actually cover. I wish they just had somewhere over here. For the cords instead we are in business baby girl and then i just have to wash this so i can put water in there and then you know it has the anti-leakage thing so be careful when you're moving this because if you don't care for you just pull this the coffee is just going to drip all over your stuff so be careful with that um sorry i'm a little rough with this and then of course this thing i don't know why let me put this stuff over here but this is the number i'm just gonna put the number this is the coffee machine number the serial but i already registered it online um the lady actually registered it for me the lady at macy's oh my goodness she was like so sweet and so kind i was just like wow like she was really really sweet this i this i wash by hand you cannot put this in the dishwasher this i wash by hand automatically um after using it every day and what i may do i may actually order she told me they were gonna have cells so i'm gonna keep this because i think i'm gonna place a really big order that's my problem i don't like going to the nespresso store because i do not know how to contain myself i always end up buying literally all the coffee I buy everything and then I'm just like, I don't want this, I don't want this. And then I just, I buy a bunch of them and then I only want to drink just one. And then I'm just like stuck in the house with a bunch of coffee that I don't like. And then it's not like I have people over to actually use the coffee. I wish I had people that comes over, you know, I would feel good about it. So, yes. And then we've got this over here. And then, yeah, you got a little bit of everything. Hey guys, let me show you the little setup. So this is a coffee machine. I'm just gonna come and make my little coffee here every morning. My milk fluffa right over here. And then over here is gonna be some books. And then I'm just gonna put the coffee thing right on top of it to kind of like hide the cords in the bag. So I'm just gonna have some kitchen books, which I have in my bags. Um, and then, I was thinking right in front of the book, I could just put some flowers or something, like right over here. And then once I remove the coffee, I just have this little thing. This is probably going to be on my um, coffee table once I have my coffee table. But right now, I'm just going to like, you know, pop it over here. But most likely, this will be right on top of my coffee table. All right, the kitchen is looking cute. And my mom sent me some plantains. All right, I'm gonna do a bit more cleaning and then I'll catch you guys later. Good morning, guys. My second day in the apartment and my first coffee here that I made on my new Nespresso machine. Um, I'm still sad I didn't get the little touch one, but actually I'm, I'm happy about this because I know in the long run, this one will do better than the touch screen anyways. And you know me, I, I can always give this to someone <laughs> and buy the new one. You guys, I'm crazy like that when I change my mind but I think I'm gonna hold on to this for um for now I'm trying to fix a shower it's just not working so the guy's gonna come tomorrow I'm just like I'm so annoyed like hot shower it's like shower in general it's my one of my favorite time like I okay 
I have to shower twice a day. It doesn't matter like if it's winter. I don't understand how people don't do it. But I also think, you know, when you are when you do things when you're little, whatever things you did when you're little end up you end up carrying that with you for the rest of your life. Which is why if you want to like teach your child good habits, do it within the first seven years of their lives. Um, like even if they don't enjoy it, believe me, they may complain, they may curse you out, they may do all of that. But when they get older, that's what they're going to carry with them for the rest of their lives. It's so true. The people that grew up with their parents making them clean, you know, make their bed as soon as they wake up that habit stayed with them for the rest of their life now you know they enjoy cleaning me i didn't go up like that the only thing i grew up doing was wake up brush my teeth take a shower and get pretty which is the habit <laughs> that stuck with me so that's what i love to do i love to wake up take a shower you know get ready put my clothes on and get cute and then same thing going to you know to sleep you know it's having a clean body um and everything like that so that's a habit that stuck with me because my parents didn't teach me anything um growing up you know it didn't make me not teach me they didn't make me do anything like like i said they were you know raised me like a little princess i didn't do anything even still like when i was i actually missed my mom i was thinking that last night i didn't realize i don't know maybe it's me getting older i'm just like i actually miss being home i've just been home for like a month or like three weeks and it's just been the funnest part this is one of the first time that i actually enjoy my time there like so much i don't know if it was like a switch i don't know what happened in me but yeah i really, really enjoy being there like i said i wake up i don't even wake up like if my mom even see me like you know take off because i sleep with the cover covering my head so if she even see like me uncover my head, she already started on my coffee, brings it to me to bed, bring me tea to bed, bring me everything to bed. Like I didn't do anything. So I kind of like miss being treated like a princess and everything like that. And also I, I miss kind of like being there and just like talking to her, even though I get mad at her for watching like, you know, watch up TV. But you know, it was nice being there with them. You know, my brother's coming every night. <laughs> and everything like that you know just sitting on the table just like talking even though i fought with them every day um yeah literally fought with them every day and argue and all that stuff but i'm just like i kind of miss it maybe it's me being like so much older i'm just appreciating you know family time um quite a lot i don't know I kind of like my family, you know. There's that. I had to figure out the bed situation ASAP. Like, I need to order a bed either today or tomorrow because I need to have this bed this weekend so I can create this content. I have dinner with my friend Sherry on Friday. So that's exciting. And then next week, I think I have dinner with my friend Julia. So many things um, to do. And then figure out, you know, a couch. Figure out a plan for for the space sometimes i just have to order that one big thing and then all the little things come around like i feel like once i order the couch or the sofa then it's gonna make it easier for me to just like find everything else that i need i'm looking at coffee table i can't make up my mind yet my coffee table is going to depend on when i get my sofa once my sofa is here then it will be easier for me to pick a coffee table but i just i'm looking at a few options and then also i'm gonna get my rug i already know the kind of work that i want and everything and then i'm gonna get two accent chair um i was thinking about buying the same ones that i had but i don't think it's gonna go with that this this space is like too modern for the chairs that i had for the bookly chairs that i had in my last apartment i love those chairs they're like so amazing but i just don't think they would go well here but there's another one where you can buy a pair for like a thousand dollars or something i think i'm gonna order those instead it's the original one that i wanted to buy last year but you had to wait until february and i moved in like october so i was just like there's no way i'm waiting that long for some chairs to come yeah i had to wait like you know how how long was that november december january february like four months and i'm just like no i'm not waiting but now i think they're in stock and then i think i'm gonna order a pair so that will go with my things and then um 
yeah then i will kind of like finish this space i'm so excited all right guys i'm gonna go i'm doing a little bit of work um i'm finding out just kind of like standing right here with my laptop right here it's a you know it's a good thing um you know do some little work standing up instead of sitting down all the time so this is going to be my little spot to work. Hey guys, I am ready to get out of here. I'm back in this coat. Typically, I don't like wearing red when I don't have makeup on. For some reason, I just feel like red typically clash with my skin, especially when I don't have makeup on. Um, it doesn't really bring like anything. But you know what? I thought, why not? I'm headed to Target. I've got my IKEA bag in here because New York City is so stingy. They're gonna make you pay five cents for everything. I'm so over it. Like, my goodness. This is what I meant when I said, like, you know, in my previous vlogs, every time I've come back here when I started living in Mexico, this is what I said about, like, you know, I feel like New York City is kind of like only for, like, if you're making a certain amount of money. If not, then it's just ridiculous. Um, which is why I did not, you know, want to kind of like come back here until I was, you know, a multimillionaire. But I feel like, you know, you get there faster when you live here for some reason so i mean you can get you know there fast too when you live other places but i just feel i don't know the opportunities here are just like better and then you are on people that are like grinding or doing things so it make you it makes it easier for you to just be in that mindset um, my cups oh yeah i did wash my cups I got um I got four beautiful cups from our place. They're like each different cup where well, I picked these. Um I wanted the one that are like each different color. I just think it's cool. Some I don't really like um uh, I'm not a fan of like matchy matchy, especially for like home decor. For matchy matchy, I prefer that for my outfits. I love a matchy matchy outfit. I love like an all white monochromatic look. But when it comes to like my home, I don't like when things match. I don't know what it is. That's why I wanted to buy like a pair of boucle chairs. But then again, I'm just like, do I want the same two chairs? Although it's going to look more cohesive. It's going to look a lot better. But I'm just like, mm, I'm not sure yet. So I haven't decided. I think I'm still going to end up getting it. The thing is, if I decide that I don't want it to match, I can move one to the bedroom and then get another one for the living room. So that's what I'm planning on doing. Let me call my Uber that I've been meaning to call. All right guys, when I come back, I will show you what I got. Okay guys, not the view that I wanted to give you, but hey, it's a view. Maybe I should do that unbox, that Tiffany unboxing. But then again, I wanted to do it for TikTok. So I am a little bit um, on the fence about that. I got a step stool. I always have a step stool at my house. I didn't know how much i needed one until last time when i moved to my apartment in jersey and then um and then he came over and just you know bought all the tools that i needed and there was a step stool and i'm just like oh my goodness how come i never had a step stool before and it turns out i used it so much to get stuff in and out and also my niece abigail used it a lot whenever she comes over if she's helping me cook so she's in the kitchen she usually is in the step stool kind of like you know helping me cook and everything like that helping me bake so this was 25 dollars at target so be sure to get a step stool it's just so necessary and then now i actually need it because even this i feel like it's a little bit too short and but at least it gives me like you know i can get on top of this because i want to be able to like dust this off before i put stuff on top of it but i did wash my beautiful glasses i cannot wait to make a cocktail and i'm ordering food from one of my favorite place in harlem um yeah they make like like everything on the menu is just fantastic they have the shrimp and grits it's to die for um but the only thing is because i ate so much shrimp during quarantine i was making shrimp tacos literally every day now i'm kind of like sick of shrimp i can't really eat it like that anymore so that's the only thing but other than that i am good buying things that i don't need of course i got this little thing to put in the bathroom i had something just like this i had it for years and years since my apartment i think in brooklyn i've had something like that 
um and i think i give it away when i moved out so i just i love little things like that just to put in the bathroom i just think it's just like perfect um because i don't really like to have real flowers in the bathroom for some reason unless i'm shooting with campaign and this is my favorite soap to wash clothes in the entire world if you're like me you're allergic to like whenever i pass that aisle at target where they have the soap i literally cannot breathe like instant headache because those chemicals are just like oh my goodness i have like a chemical sensitivity i cannot smell even if my mom washed my clothes with those things i start itching i cannot smell them they give me a headache like last time i told her to wash my stuff and then she washed it with something that has a scent and because of that i have not been able to wear my nightgowns to bed so i actually have to wash them again and remove that scent so this soap and also anything from the laundress is the only soap that i can use the laundress and then this little thing right here and i mean for fancy i love the laundress because you know they have stuff for cashmere their stain solution is just beyond amazing so i love that but other than that roma i've been using this since i was in haiti since i was in haiti i've been using this actually this is one of the soap that we use in haiti this soap um i think this is mix, uh, made in mexico actually i also got windex because i've got windows so i want to be able to clean the windows and see but the thing is i can't you know see it from i can clean it from the outside but i was asking the guy like how often did i clean the windows and then he was like once a year and i'm just like once a year or can you do this like once a quarter so yeah i know i'm just being so ridiculous am i not but i thought you know at least for the inside i would try to clean it i don't know i'm gonna put my request in as long as i mean i'm sure if it rains and everything it will clean it so it should be fine so yeah i got the windex just to clean the windows also got um the flamingo i really really love this razor and this comes with like five blades cartridges i've used this before this is amazing this is probably one of my favorite razors out there um i don't really shave for my brazilian and my underarm i use um i go to european racks to get my raxes but for my body since taking collagen i used to like shave once a year um well you know my skin like my legs and arms i used to shave them once a year but since starting collagen my hair grows so much um i find myself shaving all the time now it says it has like five cartridges they lie to me so it comes with this i really really love the flamingo and guys i'm gonna share a little secret with you so one thing that i find using um using what you call shaving cream is actually not good for you well for me personally so what happened was when i was in mexico i didn't have any shaving cream i ran out of shaving cream and then i what i started doing was i would just put soap on my body and then i would shave and guess what it's so much better when you use soap to shave or just plain water for some reason the shaving cream is supposed to help you it actually made my skin like even like especially like if you like in a hurry let's say like oh you know i have a trip tomorrow or something like that and i need to shave you know my private you know that area because you know you didn't have time to go to european racks to get your racks if you have to do that do not use shaving cream well for me personally or else perhaps try it and see how it works for you so all you have to do is just like put you know some creamy soap around this area or just plain water and then just like you know shave it and i do find i don't get bumps or like the ingrown hairs when i use that but whenever i use shaving cream the area is not the same it doesn't look the same the shaving it's not as smooth so try it and then let me know how you guys like it that is for two maisons here they're doing a little valentine's day thing so i'm so excited to take you guys along with me i'm in all white 
see you when I get there. Okay guys, we are here, about to go in to Mizen Zero. I've got my appointment today. I am super excited. Let's go and look at the window. How pretty. Guys, I am here. It's decorated for Valentine's Day, as you can see. Last year, when I was here, it was for Christmas. Now it's for Valentine's Day. Look at this beautiful flower arrangement and ginger rose. This is one of my favorite candles, actually. If you do not have this, you need this ASAP. And how pretty. And this Valentine's Day, if you spend 175, you get a lot of rock chocolate which is so sweet and we've got four years guys definitely coming in to feel the love and experience all the beautiful scents for your love okay guys i'm at cb2 oh my goodness i think i found the perfect table for my dining room this is perfect this is what i'm looking for actually this would just be perfect for my dining room i'm going in a completely different direction i really love this boucle sofa too as you can see over here i love this this is cute I love this table but this one is too big i think i would do these chairs with this table but i'm not sure if they go like that but what i'm here for is to actually look for the bed excuse me this bed is cute actually i love this black bed it's giving me like super sexy and i love this chair oh i love this coffee table i think this is what i need it's like Sometimes it's good to actually come see it in store. I saw this online, it didn't do anything for me. But now that I'm seeing it in store, and I'm just like, hmm, this is really good. Okay guys, this is the bed. This is the exact same size that I would have. Um, actually not looking at it, I'm just like, it's not so bad. I wanted the headboard to be taller, but it is what it is. I do love the sides though. And I, I hated the wooden part, but now looking at it, you won't really see it that much. So, and then I really like this one too, this little boucle. This is so cute. I don't know if I should go for like a taller, a taller thing or not. And this couch is nice. So I got some flowers from my lovely friends at Mizenzir. I just came back from there, which I'm about to put on the pot because I've been dying for some flowers. I went to CB2 trying to get the bed. Turns out I won't get the bed until Monday. And then I wanted the bed this weekend because I have a lot of content to create. So I had to figure out. I have, I'm gonna wait until the end of the day to actually wait to see. I'm gonna look at some other beds to see if I can get them delivered and then um, I'll figure out what I'm gonna do. From CB2, I also got I also got this cup because I love the clue one to kind of like drink coffee and everything like that. Um, yeah, or like, you know, matcha. And then of course, my lovely, lovely friends from Mizenzio, guys. Um, for Valentine's Day, if you're looking for the perfect perfume or gifts for your significant other, Beach, oh my god, this is so cute. Ladrack, um, Swiss chocolate, of course. Um, Mizenze is Swiss also, so they give me some chocolate. My goodness, and then they also got me. Oh, I love them so much, honestly. I love my friends at Mizenze. I got a new perfume. If you're looking for the perfect gift, be sure to stop by. It's 29 Prince Street. Um, so this is the coat. I didn't get a chance to actually show you my outfit today. This is this kind of like curly wrap coat that I got from La Garçon. La Garçon is just an online retailer. They sell other brands. And this brand is called Amomento or a moment. Oh, I don't know. So, or a moment too. I don't know how you pronounce it. I believe it's, um, I think it's a Japanese brand. I could be wrong. It's a Chinese or Japanese brand. I am not too sure. Um... I don't know what language is that is that Japanese or Chinese 
not sure but um i saw this quote on my friend tatiana when we went to angelina um paris the coffee the restaurant in wine park as soon as i saw this quote on her i just had to have it because i've been looking for something like this forever that's why i love blogging so much i feel like even still this day sometimes when i'm looking for things i cannot find them it's usually like seeing them on someone and i'm just like omg i need this and that's why i just like i don't really follow bloggers that don't tag where they get stuff because it's just like it's super annoying it's like what is the point of you just like you know wearing something and not tagging it especially if you are going to call yourself a blogger especially if you want to be an influencer i absolutely hate that as soon as i saw this on her i just had to have it like i've been looking for this forever but I, I guess maybe i didn't know how to search for it or sometimes this item don't always have the best description on the website so you can't find it it's kind of like a teddy they call it like a curly coat it's kind of like a teddy boucle kind of coat it's just giving you all the wish beige vibes my goodness this coat as soon as i saw it on her i'm just like oh my god she's looking so rich and everything my turtleneck is from parish i get it on farfetch i um like almost two years now um i've had this turtleneck or maybe like a year and a half but it's one of my favorite turtlenecks i actually want to have this in every i think parish has this in black they also have a brown one that i got um this winter no last winter so i'm actually going to check to see if they um if they made this in more color especially if you like myself you already have a full chest like chunky knits don't really look good on you if you have a bigger chest it just makes you look it makes your boobs look a thousand times bigger so i would say stay away from the chunky knits like you know any like heavy chunky sweaters they don't really look good on me so it's really hard finding something like that that's like super thin and also this is cashmere like you cannot wear this on the day where it's not cold because you will be burning i remember when i was here for december it was like 50 degrees and i wore this because i wanted to wear this on the flight to florida i literally as soon as i get in the uber i literally had to get naked in the uber remove this and only was wearing like the blazer because oh my goodness i was sweating like crazy and so my pants are from Maurizia. um i really really love these pants i think they fit really really well i mean they could have been a little bit you know like a tiny bit like an inch smaller around the legs but it's fine i think they fit really really well um and they're not too long where i have to go actually get them tailored i love that i just have to wear some heels and then i am good to go and i thought the fit these are called the wilfred pants and i do think they're like too expensive for what they are this was like 148 dollars i think Aritzia is you know overpriced for what you get from them but hey it is what it is you know the girls love it the girls that get it get it the girls that don't don't you know? um and then my shoes i am wearing my mac and mac i know there's like so many bad reviews on these shoes um i don't know maybe like the first one that came out on the scene last year they weren't as well made but for me these were just like very very well made um they're like amazing uh, they're so comfortable i wear them any chance that i get they're just like so pretty and just like so easy to style i need sarah flint to actually make me some shoes like this to be quite honest sarah flint is going to make my reading shoes like you know there's no ifs and buts it's you know it's when so um yeah i'll probably you know co-design something with her it would be so fun i actually just had a call with sarah she's like Ugh. I just love her so much like honestly Ugh, my goodness she's amazing um yeah and someone was just like aren't you cold guys and a lot of bloggers will always get this comment on our videos whenever we do like winter looks people always like aren't you cold nobody's working on one like that maybe you are not but we are the thing with fashion girls we don't dress according to the weather we don't let the weather dictate how we dress we dictate the weather by how we dress 